hear my thoughts. I shut it down wherever power is stored. Being real is in the past, watch the cowards get on, 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 on. It ain't kill me, so it's making me stronger. And these bite sized rappers down sense to my own. What the hell's going on, people? This is Periodic, and you see the title of the video. We are jumping back into Dragon Ball Z Doken Battle Japan, courtesy of Trident Mobile, in order to show you the newest Prime Battle LR coming into the game. You see him right here, Destructo Disc Krillin. Oh boy, that is some very beautiful art. So he's going to be introducing a brand new category into the game, which is the Earthling category. Now, this is going to be um, Earthlings. <laughs> so obviously Krillin is on there. Um, and as of right now, that's it. That's all we know. We don't know who's gonna, who else is going to be on it. At least um, Doken Wiki doesn't have it. And I don't believe dbz.space has it yet either. Um, let me actually just take a quick peek and go into their schedule. Yeah, they don't even have it uploaded. So as of right now, we only know Krillin to be on the team. Um, you can imagine that Tien's, Chaozu's, um, Roshi's, uh, Krillin's obviously now uh, Grandpa Gohan's the question is are they gonna consider Gohan an earthling are they cons gonna consider Goku an earthling because he, he says he's an earthling I'm an earthling you know I'm an I'm a Saiyan from earth you know all that stuff that is the question we don't know uh, very curious to find out Oob obviously Majub will be considered an earthling um, we're running him on full power because that is the second category that he belongs to the full power category and there's a lot of good units on the full power power category now for what he does he's the earthlings category key plus four HP attack and defense 150 percent so that leads me to believe that since it's not hundred seventy percent okay we're gonna transform right off the bat huh um, Oh, that's right. We are facing a, um, yeah. Anyway, um, so that leads me to believe that because we're um, we're getting 150%, they're actually intending on making this a decent category and not a bad category. Because you'll see like Namekians have 170% and stuff like that. Usually it's not that great of a category, right? Universe, universe uh, Representative 7, uh, or Representative of Universe 7, not a big category at all. Very small category. Got some good units on it, but very, very small. Ooh, 5.6 million. Come on, dog. Take it easy. Um, so that is like 177%, right? Universe 6. Um, small category great units but small 170 percent so since this is 150 for earthlings i'm guessing we're really gonna get krillin on the last rotation okay i guess i'm gonna have to run two doken events um that leads me to believe like i said that it's gonna actually be a decent rotation i love that i also got the two support units on the same rotation <laughs> like dog what is going on here anyway um his super attack his 12 key super attack diffusion energy wave so raises attack so that's just not for one turn, but raises attack, so he stacks attack, causes colossal damage to all enemies with a medium chance of stunning them. So that's pretty good, because he's doing colossal damage, which is typical, um, and he's got a 25% uh, chance, or maybe it's a 30% uh, thirty chance to stun for two turns. Okay, that's very good. So he's stacking attack, and he's got a 30% chance to stun, which is great. His 18 key, mega colossal damage, stacks attack, and defense. So that's very very good very very good um we're gonna go into this passive and uh looks like we're gonna get our 18 key super attack right there which is gonna be glorious and let's see actually what he can do before we go off his passive his passive is called biting back and this should be the destructo disc 1.4 million not bad each whoof bam nice crit 1.6 million okay let's see how much damage he could take um, so this guy, okay, 10,000, not that, not, not bad. He's also got type advantage. So he gives himself three key and 30,000 defense, all right? Um, when he supers, he gives himself 20,000 attack. Um, if he's doing an ultra super attack, he's giving himself an additional 20,000 attack. So that's 40,000 attack. Um, if he's facing only one enemy, he's giving himself an additional three key. So with the double lead, Key plus three, key plus three on normal line like this full power team. He's at six key plus three. 
plus another three when he's facing one enemy. So that's a six key. So he's at, you know, full super attack just to, just facing one enemy. Um, if he's facing an additional enemy on top of that, if it's two or more, um, he'll gain an additional 10,000 attack per enemy. Per enemy. Uh, what he also does, which is pretty insane, is if he's facing six or more enemies, ding, 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 world tournament, he's going to do an additional super attack. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention, I should have used the strength orbs, oh well, that his 12 key super attack, he's stacking his attack, right? Medium chance of stun, awesome. That's an attack all. That's 12 key attack all, all right? So that means that in his first rotation, um, he's going to be attacking twice. So this guy, this Krillin in the world tournament might become the go-to character to bring. He might dethrone LR Broly. Now, mind you, you can still bring along the full power because he's on full power. So you can just bring your physical Broly as the lead, your strength Broly, and then this Krillin. Um, that will do wonders. Um, like that, that, that'll actually be fantastic. And then just bring uh, Jacko and like just a bunch of support units, right? So that will be absolutely phenomenal. So let's take on another event. Yeah, we'll take on the new Gohan event. Uh, they we do face a few intelligence units in there, so that'll make sense doing it here. Uh, let's uh, grab my team here. It goes showcase the krill a little bit more. Um, his links uh, Z fighters, which is uh, fifteen percent attack. Uh, Turtle school, which is uh, five hundred attack, five hundred defense. Courage, which is one one key. Best buddies, which is one key. Rival duo, uh, ten percent attack plus. Um, any enemy who's attacked has 15% uh, negative defense, 15% minus defense. Um, shattering the limit, two key, and legendary power, 5,000 attack when super attacking. So he has one good key link, which is shattering the limit. Courage and best buddy is pretty bad, to be quite honest. Um, he does have Z fighters, which not a lot of units have, but it's a strong 15%. And then rival duo, which LR Goku Frieza do have. Um, okay, so we're actually on rotation with a support unit, which is a good thing. Um, though I feel like this... No, 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 he's, he's tech, so he shouldn't be able to finish him. Yeah, I don't think he will. Um, I would love to see his normal 12 key. Uh, I, I am going to try to get that to showcase for you guys, just to see what it looks like. Because I haven't looked at anything on this unit at all. I just jump straight into it. And, oh, that's a... 1.2, okay. <laughs> this uh, this Demon King Piccolo, man, he's, he's coming in nice. We are going to have to throw this man into the Legendary Goku event and see how he does because he raises attack and defense. Um, and his stats are pretty high. Like, for a free-to-play LR, listen, his attack gets up to be 18,900. His HP 22,000, and then his defense 13,610. So typically you don't want, um, yeah, I'll do this. Uh, typically you you don't want um, like stacking units that have very low defense are rough because by the time you super attack enough times, you'll probably be at like a hundred something thousand defense. And so if you get super attacked, you're still going to get hit for a lot. Now that's, that's a good amount. A hundred something thousand defense is good, but you can still get super attacked for like 200,000 on uh, master ultra instant Goku. Um, but the fact that he starts with his defense so high, 13,000, he's going to be stacking when you're doing, um, uh, 18 key super attacks, which you will want to on events like this. That, that's just like, uh, that's heaven. That's heaven. It feels, it actually feels so good. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm putting him next to the um, the Piccolo, it's, oh, okay, this is perfect. We actually get to see his normal 12 key super attack. Um, the reason why is they're sharing Shadow in the Limit. So I do want to keep them together. Uh, I want to get the Goku Frieza on ro one rotation as well, just so we can get the um, rival duo. Oh, okay, it's that black. Oh, I love that. 
I love that. That's the one that he used on the Cybermen. That's dope. All right, so that's the attack all, and that actually had the 30% chance to seal. So, or st uh, stun. Stun? Yes, yeah, stun. 30% chance to stun. So that's pretty solid. This Krillin is good. <laughs> this is a good Krillin. Man, I got a bunch of videos to do. Uh, it's like 3 in the morning right now that I'm recording this video. Um, oof, this, uh, this Goku is actually... This Goku Frieza... Oh, really? He links nothing with them? That's so tragic. Um, that is so tragic. Uh, I, you know, who cares? They're actually, they're not going to be able to do any damage anyway, so what does it matter? Right? Doesn't really matter at all. Damn, double support key links, and um, I still can't get an ultra. That's uh, unfortunate, but what can you do? What can you do? So I'm very much liking these new units that Dokkan Battle is putting into the game. Can't wait until it comes on a global. Uh, don't know if I'll grind it on JP, because I'm not... I'm not a grinder on JP. Um, just if something tickles my fancy. I know D Free is probably geeking the hell out with this unit. I don't think he's put out a video with him on there. Uh, yeah, I'm looking through my subs and I don't see D Free post. I saw the truth posted. The truth, of course, posted like three videos already, which is nope. I think four. <laughs> it's actually insane. Uh, but yeah, no D Free. The boy's probably asleep. It's all good. Um, all right, so we're gonna go and oof, yeah. I, I mean, we gotta give it to him. We gotta give it to it. He deserves it. And then everyone's gonna get their piece of the pie right here, boy. Everyone's gonna get their piece of the pie. Um, so I am curious to see who will end up on the um, Earthlings category. Like, will they put half Saiyans? I mean. If they don't put Gohan on it, that would be kind of weird, because he is an Earthling. He was born on Earth. He's half human, right? Um, even Goku. Goku spent the majority of his life on Earth. You know, he's an Earthling. Like, he wasn't born on Earth, but he spent since he was four years old and beyond. Uh, or three years old, whatever the, whatever the exact age is. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, yeah, Broly should be able to finish this off. But yeah, awesome. Guys, share the video, uh, if you don't mind. It does help me a lot. Um, this should be the finish right here. Krillin is pretty darn good, as you can see. Um, I'm enjoying running them. The true test is going to be Legendary Goku event and World Tournament. If you want to stick around and check out those videos, then don't forget to gently rub that subscribe button, gingerly ring that bell button, centrally kiss the like button. As always, this is Periodic. See y'all in the next video.